Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. That website is eight self improvement lessons that I've learned from 31 years of being a family therapist and 73 years of being on Earth. The second lesson has to do with improving your communication effectiveness. This is the third video in a series of three on how to communicate effectively with kids. This last video focuses on what can you do to improve the effectiveness of communicating with typical teenagers. As you know, teenagers are rare critters. They pose some unique challenges frequently for the adults and kids in typical families. What is it about being a teenager that makes communicating effectively a challenge? The first thing to note and keep in mind is being a teenager <clears throat> is turning into an alien person. It's going in a difficult, uncharted, confusing way from being a child and having adults be responsible for your decisions to being an independent adult person where you and others expect you to take responsibility for making your own decisions. That's really confusing for adults and kids. What that means is adults and teens often are unclear and uncertain who is supposed to do what in various life situations. Distrust means parents will challenge teens. Teens often will feel resentful, hurt, confused, anxious, and powerful, saying, I know what I'm doing. You don't have to tell me what to do. That can come across as defiance or rebelliousness or disrespect, in part because teens have not yet learned how to empathize with parents Teens don't understand what it feels like to be a parent. <clears throat> and they don't know how to problem solve well, unless you've taught them that over the years. <clears throat> they don't know how to voice their confusion. They often don't know how to empathize with parents' confusion. So often there is um, an adversarial quality to teen and parent relationships that doesn't exist between healthy younger children and their parents. This usually sets up um, distrust, disrespect, um, hiding the truth, shading the truth. It makes all these make communications difficult. The main thing I'm suggesting here is for adults trying to shepherd their teens into successful young independent, adult independence. Try and empathize with the transitions that both you and the teenagers are going through. Acknowledge openly, without guilt, without shame. At times, I don't know whether to give full responsibility to my teen or not. I expect myself to know how to do this, but I've never done it before, unless you've raised older teens. So stay as empathically aware as you can of your own confusion, of teenagers' confusion. Be aware of your attitude about your teen. Are you holding on? Please don't go. I don't want to let go of my child. Or are you covertly or overtly saying, get out of here, I can't wait until you leave? Either of those two attitudes will cause communication difficulties. The best or middle ground is, I hate to see you go, and I love you, and I want to see you as a healthy, independent adult who is making her or his own way. I look forward to that for you and for us. Godspeed. So what's your attitude about hanging on or pushing your child out? 
What's your attitude about the transitions that the child and you are going through? Are you aware of them? Can you name them? And can you be open and honest with your teen about your own confusion? And can you accept her or his confusions as you all try and find what are the new realities in your changing relationship and family roles? Be aware of the six suggestions in parts one and two of this three-part video series. Those six suggestions apply absolutely to teenagers as well as to younger kids. Those will enhance the effectiveness of your communication with teenagers as well. So, learn the principles of effective communication in lesson two in the Break the Cycle website. Based on those principles and the seven skills you'll learn there, pay attention to the six suggestions in videos one and two in this series, and with loving em empathy, <coughs> continue to nurture your teen towards healthy independence as a young adult, making their way in an uncertain interesting, exciting new world. Enjoy learning and parenting. Uh, take great satisfaction in achieving effective communication with all children, for that matter, all people. Thanks for watching.